Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared and this is Wrench Every Day. And today is a day where, well, we're gonna do a little bit of shopkeeping. You guys have been asking about some particular projects that are maybe your favorites or just some that you've seen in the background and you wanted an update on. And while we've got a few more projects that aren't running, uh, we have gotten quite a few of them done and then I've broken them again, so we have to work on them again. So we're going to go through, get you guys up to speed on each of those cars and when you may be able to see them in person. And we're gonna take a trip down to Florida via the uh, marvel of technology and get some updates on the Wrench Everyday projects that are in Tavarsha shop down there, plus a very special update on Honda Rousey. But before we get too far down that rabbit hole, let's introduce today's new sponsor, the Black Hole Battery Drainer. Sick and tired of your full battery? Say goodbye to that power with the Black Hole Battery Drainer, officially the world's fastest battery drainer, compatible with any battery powered device. 100 to 0% in under 15 seconds, power goes in, but it won't come out, guaranteed. And boom, how's it going? Yeah, awesome, why would I want this? Cool, now I can't use my phone at all. Black Hole Battery Drainer, all your power, gone. Get yours now at blackholepower.com. And of course, the Black Hole Battery Drainer is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Not every role-playing game has to be cartoonish and cutesy. Enough of candy, rainbows, unicorns, and bright colors. Get real, dark, epic, and awesome. Raid Shadow Legends will take you to the world of dark fantasy and realism. There's a ton happening in Raid this month, so champions, updates to Tag Arena, and a full schedule of special events. But here's the real treat. The current main event is the Deliana Chase event, where you can get your hands on the amazing Deliana, a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and July 20th, and you'll get Deliana for free. That's it. Just log in and play. Deliana is one of the strongest support champions in the game and can help carry your team to get past some of Rage's tougher challenges. You don't want to miss her. Now is the best time to get started in Raid. If you click the link in the description below or scan my QR code here, you're going to get a beginner starter pack worth almost $40. We're talking three free champions at once, plus 10 magic XP potions, 10 force XP potions, and 10 spirit brews. That's huge. They used to only give one champion in the past. You get three. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. Click the link in the description below, scan the QR code, and then we'll see you in the game. Wait guys, one more big thing that happens just for you guys for the next 30 days. All new players have the opportunity to enter the promo code MYDELIANA and you're going to get 50 free XP brew potions. What does that mean? You get your most epic legendary champion to max level 50 right away and a ton of silver too. Hurry up though, you've only got 30 days. What are you waiting for? Link below, QR code, do it now. Welcome back. And uh, well, I can't tell you much uh, while sitting here on my beautiful Viper chair. I'm gonna have to pick you up and uh, let's take a walk around the shop and see what's going on inside and then we'll go outside. All right, so now that I got you guys in hand, uh, you may have noticed this before, we are making just, you know, kind of a nice comfortable lounge area. It is not the, uh, crazy setup Freddy has in Florida, but we don't need that crazy of a setup. And if you notice, we're gonna get to do some really cool stuff soon. Uh, if you notice that Valvoline rack, we're really excited to uh, be joining Team Valvoline and inside there, we're on the Wire Care family as well. And uh, well, spoiler for uh, our Lexus build, we've got a lot of really cool Holly stuff coming. So that's just kind of just, a big overview that thanks to you guys for, you know, commenting, following, watching these videos, we get to work with some really cool companies. So thank you guys for, again, being fans and believing in what we are building. Speaking of that, let's show our Drag Race project. This is the Lexus SC300 that is part of the rematch against the Tavarish. Now Freedom Civic that Brent from PFI Speed has, it is off the lift just temporarily because I needed it for another project that you can't see just yet but it actually gets released right after this video, hopefully. It's gonna be a three-part series where we introduce, build, and race that car. But this one is getting some major, major work, and uh, Holly is a huge part of that. So I'm really excited in the next Lexus video to show you what engine it is really getting. It's not the 2J. I know that has a very important place that we're gonna show you soon, but we are gonna make some big power 
and this thing's gonna be absolutely amazing. And well, as you can see, you can't actually see this car yet. Not yet, soon. But this is that really cool special build that we're gonna do in three parts. And you may see me actually out at some of the local Georgia events after the series doing some more driving with this. It's where we kind of both, you know, as a viewer and me personally, I wanna use some of these projects. I wanna get them out and about and doing some more things. So that's the whole point of a lot of these builds that we're working on. We've got particular events we're trying to go to. You know, there's a particular fest that we would love to get that out to. So that's the goal. That's what we're working on moving forward. And uh, we're gonna try to meet that. So that might be a little bit of spoiler if you're really good and on it. If you notice, Transcon is still here. Um, we have been just doing a lot of testing and proving everything that we've done works great. And we're just trying to find its other flaws before it sets out on another adventure. Uh, I was doing a hundred mile kind of proving drive and the exhaust fell off of it. The exhaust that we didn't do. So I've got to put a new collector on that. Uh, we're gonna get a better transmission cooler and move its location. We notice, especially in traffic, it starts to get hot and just doesn't like to come down. And uh, again, we are just trying to beat the tar out of this thing. So when it sets out on its next cross country trip, finally, finally, a 78 Dodge Transcon Medevac will make it across the country. Uh, sitting inside, we have got the 2008 Lexus ISF. Um, you've seen it several times. We've done maintenance work on it. I've taken on rallies. This is where Tavarsh and I actually met in person taking it on a dust ball rally. I am gonna be in this car for the next five days, but I'm not gonna be alone. I have this giant over here. His name is Jared, and uh, he's actually a viewer, subscriber, and uh, we got to talking about my super build. He helped me out. He, uh, he actually works at Speed for Sale, and uh, he helped me out with the super build, and um, we actually became fast friends and decided that we would take his car to this dust ball rally. You know, we love driving it. I got to order some tires for it, do a little bit of maintenance, and, you know, drive it more. Right now, it's just enjoying sitting inside. That cat used to have, he's, he's been neutered, that poor cat. Um, in the corner there, that's our engine corner. And doing a little bit more looking, that small block that came from the Lexus. I don't know how you guys are so good to just spot it, but we were getting comments from you guys saying that it was most definitely a small block 400. Good on you guys. That uh, casting number appears to be a four bolt small block 400. I don't know how you picked it out, but we are still trying to uh, coordinate and schedule an engine dyno day because it shouldn't have been so slow, but we're not worried about that. We got Earl's engine over there. We're gonna be doing a video soon on building that short block and we're still just tracking down some parts. We have got our fabrication going. In this corner, we got the Rogue Fab bender that we borrowed from Tavarish and our uh, Harbor Freight welding cart all set up there. I've got to get some argon and we've got a lot of welding to do. So that kind of covers everything going on in here. So let's show you what's going on outside. Whew, it's, uh, it's a little brighter out here. But out here, we have got the dream truck. I love this thing, my 3500 Heavy Duty. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, we've once again had trees become a big problem at the house. And it is, it's hard to see in the sun, but it is, substantial damage to this truck that has a date to go into the body shop. But the more unfortunate thing, and I swear this project, I love it. The wife loves it. A lot of you guys have loved it. Project Roadblock. Um, well, he kind of took one for the team. He kept the house safe. He kept the wife's Lexus damaged to a minimum and believe it or not, the truck's damaged to a minimum, but, uh, his damage is not so minimal. He took the brunt of the tree right across the back. I really, really like this car. And it just, <laughs> uh, it's, it's just been problematic. But 
If you also follow on Instagram, you know what's coming up. I'm not going to spoil that beyond there because it's going to be very unique. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me re-say that. It's going to be very unique. All right, bad puns aside, uh, let's go down the rest of what we have in this beautiful, sunny field. One, you can see the driveway, a little bit more work done to it. That's because we got our tractor working. Some of you Eagle Eye viewers notice the Chevy Love. This won't be a channel project. Our friend David uh, saved these two things. There were two loves, there's the other one, that were uh, ready to get crushed and we got that thing running. So you won't see it on the channel, but he plans to come up here in a couple days, get this thing road worthy-ish, you know, probably about a Derrick level of road worthy, and he is gonna drive that thing home to Florida. So out of the two trucks, we're gonna get one, Earl's looking pretty sad, but I promise you, things are gonna start looking really good. My bank account, not so much, because we just ordered a lot of parts, a lot of parts to get Earl going back together. If you don't know, this is our Nissan 300ZX. It's got a KBD Pac-Man designed body kit, wide body on it, and it originally had Nissan V8 pulled out, had a 2J, Tavares took the 2J back, and we are now building an insane Chevy 454 cubic inch Bald Eagle Freedom Machine for this engine. Not revealed is how we're doing forced induction. It's gonna be insane. And you're gonna see this thing come hell or high water, Cletus Cars Bristol. We are taking this thing, that is my target. I am putting all, all the effort and money into getting this thing done. It, it's expensive, but we are going to be at Cletus Cars Bristol. You're gonna see Earl blow the tires off. That is our goal. You will see him there. Next to that, this is the car that the wife and I drove away from our wedding in. The short block that I teased for the Lexus goes to this engine. I would love by Christmas time for this thing to be done. This is a project that when it starts, I'll probably cry. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. It's, it's one that has meant a lot to me that has just kind of, again, life comes first and cars can wait. But when I first moved here many, many years ago to Georgia, I uh, kind of left all familiarity behind, came out for love, found that car working at a dealership, bought it, wife fell in love with it. That's where she's, you know, learned to drag race and loved. It means a ton. That is one of those emotional projects. That, that one's gonna mean a lot. I've got a lot of the parts to finish it and it's just fitting it into the schedule um, to get that thing together where I, I can't wait. That, that's gonna be amazing. Uh, not a channel project. Uh, it is a good friend Trevor's vehicle. We've done a lot of cool things. It's got a old man emu full lift. We've got the part-time four-wheel drive conversion actually done to it. So. It's just a cool truck that a lot of you have noticed next to it that you may eventually see on the channel. This is my 1971 Scout 800B. It's one of 1500, known as a Comanche. Uh, still international powered. This is the one that was kind of moved and borrowed and set outside for uh, a long time in the old shop um, where it's picked up a whole lot more just degrading throughout it. Um, eventually I'll be doing axles and stuff like that. If you would really like to see a four wheel drive build, off-road build, comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see us do with it. I do plan to try to keep the international drivetrain. Um, it will be getting bigger axles. It's got some cool 1970s off-road parts, Comfort Lift Kit, 1971, Mickey Thompson shocks. It was, it's just a cool period build. It had a crazy airbrush paint scheme that we took off of it because it was pretty much solid rust. Yeah, she was a little rough, but if you guys want to see some more international content, comment below. I, I wouldn't mind building it. Again, it's not a high priority. She's just hanging out here at the shop. Uh, next to it, that's a donor car for a project some of you may not even know about, some of you really love, and some of you didn't care about. We have a 1985 Honda Accord Stretch Limousine, and it has a lot of rust in it. And this is, this is a pretty mint 1985 Honda Accord that when we bought was pretty reasonable. Now in the crazy market world, I could detail this and make a lot of money, but sorry uh, the 12 of you that really appreciate it. 
that is going to uh, be a donor for a car we're going to go look at a little later. Next to that, 91 Twin Turbo R Toyota Supra. I love this car. It's a little dusty. It's been outside for two days and, you know, it's springtime in Georgia, so it's now yellow instead of the beautiful green. The wife and I absolutely love the third generation Toyota Supra, and this is basically the very best version of it. Uh, Twin Turbo R, 1JZ powered. It's now got a dog box in it and just a lot of really cool stuff that it's fun to take out and drive. All it needs now is a, a bath and some gas and drive it. So we've done a little bit of work on the channel. Uh, I don't plan to modify this thing anything too crazy. It's just, it's a joy to drive like it is and not worry about everyone else who feels the need to prove how large their is because they're in a Honda and you're in a 90 Supra and oh, their, their Honda's faster. Good, good for you. Hey, you guys remember that? That was a very recent thing. Uh, dug it out of the woods and it is working fantastic. Uh, one of the couple things we left with was a hydraulic cylinder that blew out and one that was leaking back here. We thought the leak was because of the bend. Turns out when the seals got repacked the first time, they put them in upside down. Oil seals don't work too good that way. So uh, I got that rebuilt and that one rebuilt and she's working amazing. We can just walk right up to it. She's in neutral. Please don't be dead battery. Oh yeah. Look at that. And that's something that's just really cool to uh, revive this old equipment. Um, I'm actually going to be borrowing it and taking it home and doing a whole lot of work and then uh, bring it back where it'll actually work its way back into uh, some equipment that they'll use uh, around here. I've actually been using it around here to move cars. So that's fun. Uh, Chevy Love, that goes with the combo for David. Uh, this is the parts truck. It's got some really cool cosmetic stuff that once he gets off, this one will be getting crushed. Uh, don't feel bad. If you remember in our initial walk arounds, when we were looking at the place with Dwayne, we've got Bluetooth floors, you know? You, you like my boot there? So th this one is gonna serve for some good parts and that's it. Um, Johnny. Uh, if you happen to catch while I was, uh, visiting our friend Derek and we did our monster garage slash nineties car TV recreation, so much fun. Right up until the point I decided to, uh, rescue John stranded with his golf cart by driving the same direction in my lowered truck into deep water. I am the captain of questionable choices. Need a lift? Need a lift. <laughs> so uh, we'll be having an episode coming up where uh, we put a new engine in Johnny because uh, I sucked up a bunch of water and I broke a connecting rod. <sighs> but again, if you notice, one car from our Georgia fleet is missing. It's the one that's, that's the donor car for. Honda Rousey, I need to take a drive to go show you Honda Rousey and what potentially has become a major problem for that. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to magic of internet. Really, it's not that much magic. It's literally, he just uploaded the footage, but that's okay. We're gonna go down to Florida for you to get a Lotus and SCF update right now. Hello everyone. It's been a while. Actually, it's been a very long while since I've talked about Site A, the original Wrench Everyday HQ with our two projects here. Now, I'm really excited about these projects, but they haven't really gotten a ton of screen time, mainly because, well, there's not a lot of work to have been done to either of these. Uh, there are very good reasons for that. Now, let me introduce you, if you're new to all this, to my 1997 Lexus SC 300, I was about to say 400, that wouldn't have been correct. It's a SC300 and it has a Lexus ISF engine. And I will show that to you right now. And well, it's a shelf. Uh, let me, uh, I'll, I'll show you the, the cool stuff, but it's a shelf right now. If we move the door panels and stuff out of the way. 
Okay, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Um, Editor Dwayne, can you uh, can you put in something uh, with the the engine in this car uh, when we put it in? Yeah, we have footage of that, right? Now the car currently doesn't have any suspension because we are redoing the subframe. Jared did a really good job of putting the subframe and the engine in the car and mocking all that up and fabricating some metal. And I said, hey, we should probably do something else because I thought it was a little bit on the janky side and I wanna do something a little bit more, not OEM, but a little bit more on the fabrication high-end side. So we are going to scrap everything here and then we're gonna use a tubular subframe that we have to make from scratch. The problem is I gave my pipe bender to Jared. In this corner, we got the Rogue Fab bender that we borrowed from Tavarish. And uh, well, he's going to figure something out for this, but right now it's just sitting here. It will get an ISF drivetrain. It actually has that right now. It's gonna get headers. It's gonna get the entire wiring harness. And this is gonna have every creature comfort that the Lexus ISF had in 2008. So that should be a very cool project. I'm not sure when we're gonna do this just because we have so much else on the docket. But one thing that I really wanna get done is this, my 1990 Lotus Turbo Esprit SE. This thing is really exciting to me, but also the bane of my existence because I spent about nine hours taking that front bumper off and boy, howdy, was it not fun. And the reason why is because this is a British car. All the bolts are rusted and they're in horrible places. And this is the same for the rest of the car. This is a fiberglass construction, a steel body. And those two components aren't very good bedfellows. So you have panel gaps that aren't really all that great. You have fitment issues. You have, honestly, body panels that are a pain to take off. So what I'm gonna do here is I think instead of doing a complete resto mod, we are going to make this as OEM as possible. Now I did buy an S4 Lotus Esprit and that engine is, I have a lot of engines back here. Don't worry about that. That engine is right over here. So we have the 910S engine and this is running and we didn't, test out the driving portion, but I wager that's okay. So this is a complete running engine and that is gonna go into this car. We're gonna get this running and me and Jared are gonna go for a drive and I'm super excited about that. Uh, but I think Jared is probably ready to talk to you about his projects in the storage locker. I think he has too many cars. Not like me, not like me at all. And we're back to Georgia. And we're in a storage unit. We've got our rear suspension that came out of our Jetta. We've got the ALH diesel. We've got, in some of these boxes, about $10,000 worth of go fast parts, all for a 1985 Honda Accord limousine. If you're not familiar with the project, this is one that uh, was around. We kind of started tearing into it a little bit, got all of the suspension cut off of it, and then we had to move. We got kicked out of the old shop and uh, had to find a place for it. And kind of in a hurry, we found a couple storage units and got everything kind of moved in there. And we've been slowly moving everything out and into the shop, but I'm trying to avoid cluttering it. I hate a clutter shop without organization. So, you know, we still have a few parts. There's some of the super engine parts, but this is the big thing. If you have never seen a 1985 Honda Accord limousine, well, here it is. It's about the size of a uh, modern F-150, but uh, this was kind of a really cool thing. It was built, I think 15 of them actually managed to get built. And my friend Henry and Gabe, uh, well, we thought it'd be a good idea to enter in the Dust Bowl Daredevils and it, it blew up. Keep, keep holding it. to uh, limp uh, Honda Rousey back. Uh, unfortunately, we think uh, our exuberant uh, playing yesterday has finished her off. 
So she's gonna have to go back. She'll sit, eventually get shipped back to Georgia and she'll be back in the future. She'll redeem herself. Yeah, blew up. So we had the even worse idea, questionable idea, to uh, get a 2002 Jetta, I believe it was, where we cut it all apart because we are gonna put the Jetta suspension, the Jetta diesel, and kind of refurbish this entire car. Um, if that wasn't questionable enough, you know, I, I don't know how we could get even, even more ridiculous as we're kind of walking down. This is a big car. It is all the way to the back wall. It is, it's a little bit of a mess. I am really excited to get this thing out. We've got to get some of our other projects done first. So we have room for uh, Miss Honda Rousey to fit in the shop. But there lies one major problem. When we moved in to the storage units, they were the end. I backed my trailer right up to the door and we unloaded everything. There was a nice gravel drive, easy access for a car with no suspension to come in and out. But then I was on the road. We were filming Car Trek. I did some work with Tavares in Florida and I came back to this. I am no longer on the end. No, there's, uh, there's another building there. And uh, I pulled tape measure. Honda Rousey is longer than the opening. So not only <laughs> do we have a car with no suspension, no way to easily roll it, we had it on jack stands on Harbor Freight moving dollies when we got it in here. I now have to build some type of rig that this thing can sit on a little bit more secure because we're gonna have to, you know, make some really weird turns. I'm potentially gonna have to jack it all, like tilt it way up so we can get it to pivot and come back down. <sighs> so yeah, I, I took too long with this project and it got a whole lot harder and it's not even, the hard is not even working on the car. It's getting it, getting it out of the shop to work on it. But we're updating you on all the projects, good and bad, where they stand, where they sit, where they're trapped. I, I'm really excited to get working on this one, but we're working through the ones that are already in the shop, some of the quick start and finish ones. I'm trying to get these cars finished moving and doing what they're meant to do. Uh, get out on the tracks, get out to where you guys can see them, where we can see you. Uh, I'm really excited about Cletus and Cars getting Earl, the original, the genesis of the channel, uh, out on a track in an insane atmosphere, Bristol. Bristol is gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully we will, we, no, hopefully, we will make that deadline. We will see you there with Earl. Then there's three more events coming up also in September that we hope to have cars at every single one. Holly has got LS Fest, they have Mo Party, and they have Ford Fest. And our goal is to be, at least me, potentially at every single one of those with a car. So it's going to be absolutely bonkers coming up. We have got so much to do where uh, expect quite a few weeks where we're gonna have double videos. Uh, this week again was kind of just an update week where we had our six month tool review update that a lot of you have appreciated. And now we're getting you all caught up on where all the projects stand. Uh, yes, projects do get finished. The Tahoe's done and gone. Johnny was working perfectly until I drove him into the pond. Roadblock was done in driving. My wife and I absolutely loved uh, running him around until he decided to uh, catch a tree. So, uh, but the, hopefully that gets you up to speed with everything else. We're trying, we're working hard. I appreciate all of you guys for following along, commenting, subscribing, interacting on our social media, Instagram. Uh, we've got to work on Facebook a little bit still. You guys are amazing. You allow us to do so many cool things. We've got so many new exciting partners coming on board that, uh, they're gonna let us get some of this stuff done and uh, we'll be at a lot of stuff going through September. That's the goal. But as always, I appreciate you hanging out, sitting through us giving you the uh, state of wrench every day. But I'm Jared, reminding you to always uh, make questionable choices. And pay attention when you're trying to put things in and out of a storage locker, come on, man.